guys and welcome to Vienna. It is my very first time, that's two, it's my first time here in Vienna. Not only am I excited to show you guys the city, I'm going to be showing you plenty of it over the course of this travel vlog, but I'm also excited to be back in another Meininger property, not just because my bed is massive, but because Meininger is pretty cool. So I am staying in Meininger Hotel, Vienna, downtown France, and from word on the street from the other employees across Europe in Meininger is that this is one of their favorite hotels. So I'm going to start with the room because that's where I am now. I'm currently sitting on my own personal couch, uh, which is pretty damn cool. It's right underneath the window. There's so much light if you just want to chill out and relax. I also have a desk to do some work at and an ensuite bathroom. Um, I've already checked out the shower. I had about 24 hours of travel to get here. Um, so I've jumped in the shower before I even wanted to show you guys the room. And I can confirm that it is hot. So you're going to have a great time and feel refreshed to start your days in Meininger and in Vienna. There's also a place to hang clothes. Now I don't usually hang my clothes but I decided to do it on this trip and I just feel so organized and ready for all the things that there are to do here. Now one of the things that I really love about this hotel was that it was really really simple to get to from the airport. I literally just jumped on the S-Bahn and then I changed and I got a U-Bahn which is basically the underground metro tube whatever you want to call it and you get dropped off about 10 minutes around the corner and my walk here was amazing because it is so sunny. So I walked over this beautiful canal, all these people are sitting drinking wine and beer on the banks of the canal and um, I definitely plan or hope to be doing a bit of that this week um, and then the hotel is just right here reception was really really simple I've been given maps upon maps upon maps of things to do and recommendations from the staff downstairs you have the breakfast area uh, there's also a bar and you can even pick up some pizza and pasta so I'm definitely gonna be grabbing a beer later and breakfast over the next few days mining a breakfast is always really good there's spreads of cheeses and hams and yogurts and muesli basically whatever you would normally have for breakfast at home you can get it here but if you prefer to cook for yourself then there is also a guest kitchen and there is a supermarket literally two streets down uh, where you can pick up some fresh groceries and maybe cook and meet some people that way and now because Meininger is so close to town I'm gonna get changed uh, do myself up I really want to head to the opera and show you guys the city Okay, so first night in Vienna ever in my whole entire life. So I may leave the opera till tomorrow, in which case now I'm going to take all my maps downstairs and try and figure out what to do tonight. Okay, so we have definitely missed the opera tonight. Um, I chilled out, I had a beer at Meininger, and then I was going to head to a rooftop bar tonight to try and get some rooftop views basically. And I saw this beautiful church, so now we're going to see the church first. So we just stumbled on another national treasure. This right here is the Berg Theatre. It is possibly the most important German language theatre in the entire world and it's existed since 1741. There's been a little bit of construction since then, uh, but it's pretty damn old. So my hunt to find one of the rooftop bars for sunset is failing at the moment because I keep getting distracted by all these incredible churches. Uh, they're closed at the moment so hopefully I'm going to bring you back to some of them. Uh, but that one there is a gothic church from like the mid 14th century um, and you guys know how much I love gothic churches because I'm obsessed with the Notre Dame Cathedral in uh, Paris. So I'm back in the room after my first night in Vienna and I have to say that one of the things I love most about traveling is finding a place that I feel like is a home while I'm away and a place I can go back to during the week or the three nights that I'm around. And I found it tonight, it's called Kem's Bar. So I went inside, there was two guys in there and two girls, that was it and him. Uh, it got a bit busier with regulars and friends as the night went on, but it is a really lovely place. Good morning from sunny, sunny Vienna. Um, I just woken up. I'm going to try now and head to the free walking tour that Meininger suggests with good Vienna tours. Starts at 10 o'clock, pretty sure I'm late, in which case I'm going to do some sightseeing and grab the one at 2.
All right then guys, so I have a bit of time to kill before the walking tour at two o'clock. I missed the one at 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna pop into the Globe Museum. It is apparently the biggest Globe Museum in the entire world um, and it has about 600 globes. I'm a huge fan of maps. I love drawing my own maps and I love looking at other people's maps. So I'm probably gonna spend quite a bit of time in here. Well, that globe museum was amazing. Um, there's so many globes and I'm a huge fan of maps and everything like that, so I really enjoyed that. Now I'm just heading back to Meininger. It's super close to the city centre, which is a good thing because I wore a super short skirt today. It's really hot, it's like 20 degrees. Um, but I want to go in some of the churches and I don't know if I can wear it, so I figured, seeing as Meininger is so close, I'll just pop back, put some jeans on, uh, hopefully see if I packed a t-shirt and head off again. It was presented by his father uh, in front of the, the most important imperial and war. Okay, so I just finished the walking tour. Um, our tour guide was Chris. She was fantastic and showed us some really good spots in the first district of Vienna. And then a little birdie told me that if you queue up about an hour before the opera starts at seven, you can get standing tickets for three euro. Well, I was a little bit late because I wanted to get something better to wear, but I met a guy outside and I've just got a ticket for the Viennese opera for 13 euro, but it's a seat. Um, you can still get standing tickets, but I thought, well, it's two and a half hours, so I'm gonna get the seat one. It was only 10 euro more, and this is my first ever opera. So let's see how it goes. guys except it's uh, not actually morning it's afternoon I slept in a little bit because I had a banging hangover this morning uh, but it just goes to show you how much fun it is in Vienna so first stop today is Sigmund Freud's museum I'm actually gonna do loads today because uh, what with going to the walking tour and the opera yesterday um, a lot of the day was taken up with things that took a long time so I'm gonna do a lot of things today that take little time um, so first off is the Sigmund Freud museum So the verdict on the Sigmund Freud Museum, it's pretty small, uh, it's only about five rooms um, and it costs 12 euro to go in, but the information there is really, really good and it's actually based in his old house and the girl who's on the door there was amazing and she told me that his couch is in London, so I'm going to go see that on Saturday I think. information on the votive church it was given as a gift basically to one of the emperors from his brother so there was an assassination plot against this emperor it failed his brother was so happy that he lived that um, he basically built him a church okay guys change of plan uh, the justice cafe and the rooftop is only open until 4 p.m. and it's past that so I'm gonna go find some street art now So behind me is a section of the museum courtier, which funnily enough is just full of museums, but I came here to find the so-called street art passage. Um, I think I found it, there's not a lot of street art, but there is a perfect example of some work by Space Invader, who I actually spotted near the oldest church in, um, in Vienna yesterday on the tour. So I just stopped for lunch. It was in a gorgeous restaurant called Boheme on a very beautiful little street that someone told me I should go to uh, just to check out the houses down there really. And now I'm gonna head to the Nash Mart. So unfortunately, I'm starting to lose the light. Um, I got distracted with Golden Hour and all these beautiful buildings. And now I really wanna get to Stone before it gets dark. After sightseeing all day, it was definitely time to relax with a couple of cocktails and Kem's bar. I took along a couple of travel bloggers you might know, Sabina from Girl vs Globe and Becky from Borders of Adventure, and the night turned a little bit wild. <laughs> Hey 
guys, so if you've seen my other videos on Meininger, then it will come as no surprise that today I booked a late checkout. A uh, regular checkout at Meininger is 10 o'clock, but for an extra 10 euro you can stay until 2, and to be honest, look at this bed. <laughs> I did not want to go anywhere this morning, especially after a bit of a party we had yesterday. So um, I've just packed up everything, it's quarter to two now. I'm going to head downstairs and see if I can grab some food and probably have a beer. And then I'm going to leave for the airport about three. So thanks for having me, Meininger, and see you next time.